Welcome to David Dudley Outdoors, and yes, we're back with another video about the lure test pool. And in order to be fair about lures that come across the bottom of the lakes, the rivers that we do, we gotta have rock beds. We're gonna build pea gravel rock beds, golf ball size rock beds, softball size rock. I don't know what we're gonna do. We gotta go to the store. We gotta go figure out what we're gonna do. But people have already been sending in lures already for me to test. Guys, you guys have been phenomenal in suggesting things and my adrenaline is going 100 miles an hour just thinking and listening to you guys and what you're talking about. So let's go build a rock bed of every size rock there is. All right, so setting this up, I have no idea what to expect. So uh, naturally, I'm not going to go buy like truckloads of rocks. So I'm going to use buckets to select the size rocks that we need just to cover the wood that we're going to be putting this on. guys here we go as you can see we got a big selection of rocks and my mind is going crazy I like this size and the reason I'm gonna be very specific in what I choose I want to study what do jigs do when they come through pea gravel are the arms still moving are they standing up are they rolling I want to be able to take a standard drop shot rig I want to take a shaky head I want to take square bill crankbaits. I want to take deep diving crank. I want to look at what they do in each scenario of rocks that we're fishing. I kind of like these, this size rock. Uh, it actually looks a little bit jagged. Uh, it's not smooth and round. It's got kind of a, a mixture. We're definitely going to do a bed of this. This rock is definitely going to be in a player. And the reason I love this rock, a lot of times you're looking for rocks, you're looking for transition areas. We are definitely going to be making a bed out of these rocks. Wow. I really like this rock right here. Just imagine a jig just or a crankbait. Wiggle warp. Can you tell my mind's going crazy? No doubt we're going to do a bed of this rock right here for sure. Oh yeah, I got that. Do you know how much study is going to be done through those rocks? All right, now let's go get that, that kind of mid-range rock, mid-range. It's going to take a little longer. I'm going to be a little bit more selective, don't you think? Yeah. You know, because these are kind of, I kind of want to get more, you know, more of these bigger ones, you know. That is the horse poo poo from the stall barn right there where we keep our horses. I know y'all didn't get a whiff of that, but I did. So we're gonna have to clean these rocks just so mud and stuff doesn't get in the pool. So we actually used these, this for sipping rocks earlier this year. And we could place our rocks in here and pressure wash them. Ouch. You ever seen them shows where they take those baskets and balance them on their head? They have like baskets of laundry and they walk. 
Woo! Check that talon out. Woo! Who says I can't dance? So naturally, we're gonna have to clean these rocks before I put them in my test pool because I don't want my pool to be muddy. We want to see clearly what all the lures are doing with these rocks. So yes, we're gonna take these rocks and we're gonna pressure wash them in our sifting box. I hope you guys can appreciate the details that I'm going through with these videos. I am excited just as well as you guys. I can tell in your comments how excited you guys are as well as I am. So we're gonna clean these up and make sure we don't have muddy water in my pool. Who wants a bath first? Oh, I'm raising my hand. I want a bath, I want a bath. Well, you're gonna get a bath. you have a farm a pressure washer is like a standard equipment anytime you live around a farm You guys know that my bill for this project is getting expensive. Definitely got to secure these rocks in. Hope liquid nails holds them. You can never go wrong with liquid nails. And we got to get us some fast grab because we got to cover the whole plyboard. Man, it's getting expensive. guys there is the first rock bed built right there and yes we're getting ready to put the rocks on it glue them on but I built it to where I left a little bit of space I didn't want it rubbing the bottom of the pool we're gonna take those little uh, swimming noodles and attach them on the bottom so when we do place it in the bottom of the test pool it's not gonna wear and tear on the bottom of the pool so excited solid i just hope we can lift it up and out of the pool as much as i'd like to for sure <laughs> now three days later we're about to finish the rock bed project got a little delay had to get some swimming noodles okay i had to figure out a way to keep these rock beds from eating up and messing the bottom of the pool up, which is what we don't want to do. And yes, guess who is here today? The world famous quarter boy. Quarter boy, what are you doing? Well, the ranger that we have has no windows. How are we gonna put the dogs from the ranger? Now, when he says dogs, he's talking the coon dogs, the men of this farm, my coon dogs. So as you can tell, his spray painted Jeep right there. Tell them, tell them how, how, how long it took you to spray paint your truck. Huh? 
I'll say a few hours. A few right. hours? My man saved like $1,500 with like five cans of spray paint. So he's got a hitch where he's going to attach a dog box on the back of his and he's here constructing it. But I'm going to have to steal him right now. So I need your help, all right? All right. So basically, I've got the little swimming noodles, right? And I'm cutting it straight down the center. You see how accurate my eye is right there? Like, that is scary. Dead center. So basically, we're cutting noodles down the center and putting them on the bottom side. So what I'm scared about is that actually the rocks might not be heavy enough to uh, float it around. Go ahead and put it on that side. I'm gonna, and I missed it. Captain Nails. Ha! Yeah, it just popped out. I don't know if this is gonna work. Look at that. My cap and nails are dry rotted. No! Got these at a yard sale. And I wonder, I know now why they were selling them. Look at that. Busted. Boop! <laughs> I think we need to go to the store and get some updated instead of dry rotted uh yard sale look at that quarter boy that's what you get for buying something at a at a yard sale Jump. try to save 50 cent and get dry rotted plastic all right back with some un dry rotted plastic we got some good nails and you've seen the progression of quarter boy check out this very, very detailed dog box for our coon dogs. Check that out. He's got, he's got, you know, moss covered wood to give it the natural camouflage. He's got wood that's been sitting out and has and gotten dry, the old look to it. He's got roofing nails flat so they can't see it. My man has given the dog box a lot of thought. That's the Shrek shack. It's a Shrek Shack. All right, so here comes the, the maybe the fun part. We're getting ready to, to glue pea gravel. Say, Dudley, what is this for? Well, we're gonna take pea gravel and study crankbaits on pea gravel, study crankbaits on different size rocks. I hope this works. So we got glue, we're gonna take the pea gravel, and actually put them in. See, there's a real, ex there's a real exact science to this. Oh, I, was, I was off a quarter of an inch right there. got two done and we all know we fish like rip rap chunk rock bluff rock so the next bed is gonna be uh, kind of like simulating bluff rock I don't know we're gonna we're gonna watch what a football jig does coming through this There you have it, three rock beds. Now this rock bed right here, I might have to hire a crane service to get in there, but 
for about, oh, I don't know what this cost. Hopefully this cost is gonna benefit you. It's gonna benefit me. Guys, make sure you hit the subscribe button because these videos we're gonna do are gonna be fair. I'm not out to uh, put any lures down. We're just out to study lures. So if you have lures that you want me to test, make sure you look in the description below. See where you can mail your lures to. So make sure you contact me for more information about maybe displaying your lures, studying your lures. I will be excited to do that for you. So uh, make sure again, one more time, you hit the subscribe button. Thank you for joining in. Our next video is gonna be searching for the perfect bush to flip. So we're gonna to have to go out, cut some trees down, make some scenarios of different bushes that we can study lures as they go through the trees. All right guys, I'm giving you the outro.